turbo a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and pop the side panel off and the cowling and all that stuff get some footage of how that all comes off even though I, i'm assuming it's going to be pretty much the same as a regular gen 5 um, pull the sound deadening stuff out the heat shield all that and then we're going to throw the diamond s muffler on there is a update for the jaws stuff if you have a comp turbo and you ordered a turbo pipe and everything they do have an update coming for the comp turbo i just spoke to them this morning they're working on finalizing that on the dyno and everything they said about a week or so they'll have that finalized and then they can go into production so if you do have a JAWS kit on hand for your Comp Turbo, hold off on installing, keep that in the box, contact JAWS. They have a list of everyone that they need to talk to. I'm not sure if they're gonna be reaching out on their own. I think they will, but just to be safe, if you have one of these kits, give them a call. Try to get that sorted ahead of time before you install it and end up having to pull everything back apart and deal with that. mentioned a few times is these coolant lines and oil lines rubbing on the housing this one appears to be good but something to keep your eye on if you just got one of these we got a lot of sensors and a lot of data to monitor which is really good but you know down the road when these things get mileage may be troublesome as sensors start failing and things like that but for now when they're new it's gonna be pretty sweet to see what these tuners can do with these things with all the data they're gonna have all right, I tried a bunch of different things. I got the rivet out of the bottom here. I loosened the top two. I pulled the lower bolt out that houses this little grommet. It's a long through bolt that keeps this from coming up off of the cross brace here. Um, I don't see how you're gonna get this muffler out on a trail one with this side panel still on. The easiest route's gonna be to just pop this down pipe off. So it's these six 12 points. Um, luckily these things are new enough that this gasket's not going to be deteriorated. They're probably going to say it's a one-time use thing, but it's a stainless steel gasket. This should all clamp back up and not be any issue after the fact. When you get to removing these bolts, this lower one is tough to get to. I tried the quarter inch universal and the extension that doesn't work. It gets all bound up in here. You can see that doesn't fit very good. So you're going to need a little 12.516 wrench and then you can get right onto it in that fashion and you got plenty of room to push it down apparently the gopro battery died so you didn't get to see me pulling the downpipe off but this is the gasket that comes out of there so i said they might consider these well not might they probably do consider these a one-time use because they have you can kind of see if this thing will focus they have that little stamped ridge in them that's the gasket portion that compresses and seals Luckily, this thing's brand new, so this hasn't gotten tons of heat cycles to where it's flattened out or lost its tension yet. So if you got a brand new one, you should be good to go. If you're doing this on an older high mileage one, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and replace this gasket when you do this. But this is definitely the easiest way to get this muffler out of here. Just pop that down pipe off. You don't have to pry anything. You don't have to wiggle stuff around. Super easy. Just take the heat shields off, get to those bolts, and you're good to go. Yank the muffler out, throw the new one in, bolt it all back up. the muffler in just loose one stud in with the grommet like you're supposed to and then i got the bolt with the spring just started a couple threads so that this can move around put the donut gasket on the downpipe set that in there fish the gasket in then get the bolt started on there 
this little spring retainer bolt and then these bolts i'm going to put some of the copper anti-c stuff on like we use on all the exhaust bolts on automotive stuff should help them come back out if we ever have to take them back out and then i would recommend cleaning the gasket just wiping all the packing oil and you know the break-in oils and stuff off of it same with the downpipe clean this surface up a little bit just wipe it clean with a rag if you want to get really fancy you can take some brake clean on the rag and clean it up from there but just wiping the oil off should be good to go mostly fit in here there are some differences between the mountain sleds and this competition turbo if you're gonna run this diamond s can this tab is a little bit too close to the downpipe tab so you're gonna need a slightly shorter spring and then down here on the belly pan that aluminum heat shield that one I don't know if I can get an angle on this I'm gonna have to go from the bottom here so you can see it just barely contacts the muffler there. So we're gonna have to trim that and take probably eighth of an inch to three sixteenths off of this aluminum heat pan here to get clearance. You don't wanna run this touching because that contact is gonna send vibration and harmonics through that the knock sensor may pick up as false knock. Also, it'll chafe and it'll be all shitty. You're not gonna to wanna to do that. So if you're gonna to wanna to run a Diamond S on one of these, you're gonna to have to make these little modifications. I did call Diamond S and I spoke with them just now. I just got off the phone with them. Uh, they don't really have any plans to do a competition or a trail package version of this muffler unless they get a bunch of demand for it. So, with that in mind, if you are going to run one of these, you got to make these small changes. Fun fact, now with the Diamond S muffler, you don't need to remove the downpipe to get it in and out. You do need this rivet out because you need a little bit of give in this side panel. But if you have that rivet out and you run this Diamond S and you go through this work, you don't need to pull the downpipe off to pull the Diamond S out but you will have to pull this back off if you want to put the stock muffler back in. Yeah. <laughs> 